back on mine, it's not that good anyway. But again, we've got some fragmentary material out here in the lumen. We haven't quite split the gastric pit longitudinally. It's probably either coming out of the screen slightly at an angle this way or going down at an angle that way. That's why it appears closed at this end. But then you start to see the beginnings of a lumen right here that opens up. These are the epithelial cells. The nuclei are close to the base. You can faintly make out the cell membranes between neighboring cells. These are clearly columnar epithelial cells, simple columnar epithelial cells. And that's what we're going to see in the stomach, the small intestine, and the large intestine, simple columnar. Now, in the stomach, all the simple columnar cells are mucus secreting cells. So I think you have a mucus cell on your list, too. There's a lot of mucus that is constantly being produced here, but also deeper in the mucosa as well to kind of give a layer of mucus to the lumen of the stomach to help protect it. There's things like hydrochloric acid that are being secreted by the stomach, and it needs to be protected from those caustic chemicals. So that layer of mucus is there to help protect the lining of the stomach so that it doesn't break itself down. Um, for those of you who get deep into the histology atlas, um, I can't remember whether it's in the wound or not, but there's a second type of mucus secreting cell that's further down in the mucosa layer that has a slightly different name. We're not going to worry about that because they look nearly identical to a different cell type that we are going to look at. It's very hard to tell them apart um, from the, the cheap cells that we'll look at in just 